what's up YouTube um, before I get to the content of the video I want to first give a shout out to my boy Dave at Comerica Muscle um, I think it was about two weeks ago Dave uh, gave a shout out to me on his channel and I didn't get the opportunity to thank him thank you Dave um, I'm going to project the video somewhere I don't know where the empty space is but I'm gonna show a video or something on his channel and I'll do a link to his channel in the, uh, the details um, he's got a great channel a great muscle and fitness channel and um, Again, thanks a lot, Dave. Next, I want to give a shout out to Amo of Amo Fitness. Now, um, Amo, he has a really cool fitness channel also, and I'll also project the video somewhere. Um, I was looking at his videos the other day, and I was like thinking about the clarity and the crispness of his picture, and uh, I asked him, what kind of camera is he using? And he told me the camera he's using is pretty much the same one that I have, and I asked him the lens he's using. It's the exact same lens that I have. And I was wondering, like, how, why does my stuff not come out looking like that? And uh, he pretty much told me, well, well duh, you got to change this setting on the camera. And um, I changed it, and it looked, it, I mean, it, it looked better. So um, he didn't say, he didn't say, well, duh, he didn't say it like that. But, I, of course, I felt that way after having this camera for so long. And I saw that I had to just change one little thing, and the picture quality improved. So uh, thanks a lot, Amo. Um, I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the details, um, and as well as I know I said, I put, I'm sure I put a video by now up um, showing some of his videos. Now, of course we know that there is no such thing as a magic bullet or a, a magic elixir that you can take and it will take the place of diet and exercise. Um, when you fix a deficiency, so when you start taking something in that you're supposed to have already been taking in, um, there can be changes that take place uh, in your body or in, in the way you feel and the way you think um, that does kind of have a feeling like it's like it is indeed a magic bullet and that's not because necessarily uh, you're taking something that's um, that that's that's magical or anything is because you're putting something in your body that you were already supposed to have so because there is a difference between um, living and, and actually functioning at optimal levels so uh, the things I'm going to talk about now are things that pretty much all of us are deficient in. Pretty much all the things I'm going to mention, pretty much most people are deficient in all of them, or uh, they're deficient in some as well, one, one or two of them. So the first one is going to be fish oil. Fish oil is extremely important. And I think the supplements, I was going to put them in relation to, uh, in order uh, of importance, but they're all really important. So I don't think just because fish oil comes first is the most important. They're all really important. Um, fish oil, or more importantly, omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fats are an essential fatty acid. Um, they are essential because there is a, a component of omega-3 fats in every cell in the body. Um, it has a hand in uh, your hormonal profile, uh, cognitive function, uh, bone development, um, uh, bone development, so joint health. Um, uh, it helps every aspect of uh, metabolic syndrome, so hypertension, cardiovascular disease, um, obesity, diabetes, uh, more importantly to this channel and fitness channels in general, um, it helps improve insulin sensitivity. So when you improve uh, your insulin sensitivity, you're way more efficient at sending nutrients to the muscle cell and getting them away from the fat cell. We want to put ourselves in position when we get our food, when you go on a bulk or when you go on a recomp or a fat loss uh, plan, you want to basically be feeding your muscle and starving the fat cells. When you improve your insulin sensitivity, you make it way easier for uh, for your body to feed the essential components that you want to feed and not to cause the fat cell to expand. Um, so, so for fat loss, this is good because it's easier for you to drop body fat. When you're not gaining fat and you're doing your cardio and you're putting yourself in a caloric deficit. Um, it's way easier for you, or it's way more efficient for you to get where you want to be because you're no longer gaining fat. It's very hard for you to gain fat when you shut down lipogenic action, which is fat gaining, and you uh, turn on lipolyptic processes, which is what fats, uh, which what fish oil does, or omega three fats does. Lipolyptic meaning fat burning. So fish oil is lipolyptic. Um, uh, fish oil comes in polyunsaturated fat. Uh, more importantly, we're trying to take EPA and DHA, which is contained in the fish oil or the polyunsaturated fat. Uh, the deal with polyunsaturated fat is it is very easy for uh, your fish oil to go bad. Polyunsaturated fat 
has a, a, a great proclivity to going bad, being oxidized, going rancid. Um, due to the fact that it's really sensitive, uh, if it's exposed to too much light, if it's exposed to high temperatures, um, it can go bad and the health benefits of the fish oil are no longer there. It actually becomes uh, really bad for you because you'd be taking a capsule or you'd be taking a spoonful of free radicals which actually have negative health components. It's actually acting more like a trans fat which is a processed, very bad fat, very carcinogenic, very pro-cancerous. Um, than uh, a good fat, which is what fish oil is. So, um, recommendations, dosage recommendations are um, generally, last I've seen were 2.5 to 3 grams of EPA and DHA. Um, so that's gonna vary depending on whatever fish oil you get because different manufacturers put their EPA and DHA content of the fish oil at different quantities. Now, I prefer the oil over the capsule. The reason being, if a manufacturer says there are 1,000 milligrams of fish oil per capsule, they can't, it can't really be 1,000 milligrams of fish oil per capsule because they have to pack the fish oil uh, with an antioxidant like vitamin E or vitamin C because of the fact that, like I said, fish oil is a polyunsaturated fat. It has a very high propensity to going bad. So much like when you cut an apple in half uh, and you leave it out, a lot of times you see somebody put lemon on the apple because if not, the sugars in the apple will become oxidized because it comes into contact with the air and so the apple begins to brown. Lemon is a potent antioxidant, people put lemon on it, therefore it doesn't brown. It's the exact same thing with the fish oil. They're putting the vitamin E and the vitamin A in the fish oil capsule to make sure that it doesn't oxidize, but you're not getting the same quantity of fish oil. So if uh, this 600 milligrams of, uh, if you're getting 600 milligrams of fish oil, um, you would have to take about let's say if you needed depending on the quantity of EPA to DHA they say that generally most fish oils to get that 2.5 to 3 uh, grams of EPA to DHA a day you would have to take roughly two to three teaspoons to teach teaspoon is five five grams so you would have to take roughly if it was three teaspoons you'd have to take roughly three teaspoons is gonna be 15 grams so you'd have to take almost like 30 capsules if it was the hypothetical capsule that I explained to have 600 milligrams of actual omega-3. So, I prefer the oil brand I use is Vitamin Shop brand. It's a reputable brand. It's been lab tested. Um, I've been using it for years now. I've also used Carlson's. Um, Nordic Naturals is another brand. All reputable brands. But like I said, I prefer the oil over the capsule. I do not use capsules. Um, next uh, is... Freeze. Now, this video got entirely too long. Now, of course, the topic of uh, supplementation, I knew it would get kind of uh, kind of involved, but um, I do not expect people to sit down and watch my face for 30 minutes. That is just too dang long. Uh, my channel does not to have that kind of pull. But um, rather than sit there and make you watch a 30-minute video, I cut it up into different parts. So... Um, I'll be posting the next two uh, very soon. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for the next one.